In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn this one pound USB cigarette light socket adapter into a do it yourself hardwire loom for any USB cable. And this is what it's going to look like. This will allow you to hardwire in a dash cam, a sat nav, or anything with a USB cable to it, like a mobile phone charger for super neat and tidy installation. So keep watching to see how we do it. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how to take a standard USB car charger like this and make it so you can use it to hardwire in a sat nav, a dash cam, or a mobile phone charger, um, just as you saw in those previous pictures. So, to do this, uh, you'll need to get yourself one of these. You've probably got one in the glove box or in your car already. It's just a one pound. USB to cigarette lighter adapter and first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this apart um, This should cost you no more than just a couple of pounds to make this So first thing you're going to do is we're going to strip this USB adapter down to its main components All you're going to need for this video is one of these a soldering iron uh, you can do this without a soldering iron, but I'd recommend using a soldering iron. So, all of these parts we won't be using again. Let's see. Let's actually strip it down. As you can see there, it's actually really basic. Um, it just uses a positive on this end. And you see here uh, the casing for the USB socket is the ground. So what we're going to need for this is you will either need a fuse tap. And what we'll do with the fuse tap is we'll just directly wire this on. And then you can tap this straight into your fuse box. If your fuse box isn't accessible and you want to wire this into something else. Then you will need to use yourself an inline fuse holder and same as the fuse tap um, but instead you'd put a fuse in there attach one end onto here and then you'd attach this end to your ignition feed in your vehicle to power this up but we're not going to use that but that's how you'd use a fuse holder another thing you're going to need is a piece of cable and this is going to be used for our earth so we're just going to earth off here and put a ring terminal on this so we can actually ground this to the vehicle and have this as our live. Um, this will depend on how long you need it, depending where you are going to be mounting this and then going to be able to earth it to a ground earth bolt in the vehicle. So this is a really simple thing to do. I'm actually doing this to hardwire a dash cam into my own vehicle. So I thought I would do a quick video on just how to do this yourself um, because having one less USB device plugged into the vehicle and having it um, the cable just poking out where you need it so you can plug it in or having your dash cam hardwired in is so much neater um, especially if you've got a car that you uh, want to keep neat and tidy while I'm having cables running around everywhere. So for this we're just going to use a ring terminal. This is our earth lead. And as I said before, this on this device is going to go onto this casing. But as you can see here, this is your ground and that is your positive. So this ground feed here, if yours doesn't come off uh, you'd want to either unsolder this part or just cut half of it down and then solder your ground onto wherever this part was coming off of on your circuit board um, but this one we are going to solder it straight onto this earth tab so you need a soldering on mine's a gas one 
So I'm going to pop that down there. So we're going to have a quick tidy up what we actually need now. And we can get rid of all of this lot. Okay, so now we've had a bit of a tidy up. We're going to need for the remaining part of this. Unfortunately, I lost the footage of me soldering this onto the circuit board, but all you, all you needed to do was just solder these two on here. So now you can see where we have grounded the earth, which was to the chassis of the USB socket like I said before and then the positive cables just come in there on the bottom of this part here is um, and that is now fused as well so we have the fuse running off to this this only draws one amp so this has got a two amp fuse in it so that should be plenty for this USB so now what we're going to do it's going to plug our device in. Just like so. I'm going to get some electrical tape. We're just going to wrap this all up. And lots and lots of electrical tape making sure that nothing is protruding from the bottom of the circuit board. Um, we don't want anything to ground out on anything in the car. Once this is tucked away behind the dashboard. And uh, this is ideal for a dash cam, um, sat nav, so charging your sat nav so you don't have to have cables running all over the place if you use your sat nav a lot. Um, your phone charger, if you have your phone charger on the right hand side of the windscreen and you just want the phone charger cable just poking up like I had in my focus so we can see that is now totally wrapped in electrical tape and all you need to do for this is use the fuse tap here into the fuse box this will be fine because it's only a two amp fuse so we should be able to tap this into anything if you haven't already check out my other video where i've done a video on fuse taps and then you'd earth this up to anything under the dashboard that's a bolt that earths to the chassis if not you can use a tech screw and screw that into the chassis to earth it um, and if you want to you can always wrap some tape around this part here to then make sure that the USB lead doesn't come out. And that is how to hardwire your dash cam for a total of about three pounds. So with that, we've used the fuse tap, um, a one pound to go at like a socket, a one pound USB cable. Um, so that's a total of just a couple of pounds and uh, a complete DIY how to hardwire a USB socket into your vehicle. Hope you found this video useful. Please check out some of my other videos I have on my channel and um, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.